think about whose job you ultimately want to do. Do you ultimately want to be the chief actuary? Do you ultimately want to be the CRO? Do you want to be you know, head of pricing or as your pension consultant, do you want to be a, a scheme actuary? Whose job do you want? And then think back from there, okay, if, that, if that's where I ultimately want to be, what steps do I need to, to take now and in five years' time to help realise that ambition? Actuaries have always been data scientists. It's fundamentally what we do. We, we analyse data and we reach conclusions and we communicate those conclusions to our various, various stakeholders. That hasn't changed. What perhaps has changed is that actuaries don't have the monopoly on those skills and perhaps they had more of a monopoly in the past. They don't now. There's more competition. So we need to, we need to demonstrate that we really are adding value in those areas. In the past, I think, um, having strong technical skills was probably sufficient. These days that's not going to be enough. Actors these days need to have a good balance of skills if they want to progress up to senior management. They need good soft skills, good communication skills to tell the story in a coherent way that the stakeholders will buy into. In some senses, um, you know, the people that you're communicating that to, are the, who are the ultimate decision makers, don't really care about that 95% of technical work and the technical brilliance and accuracy that went into it. All they care about is that 5% messaging that you give to them in a board meeting or a committee meeting. You learn a lot on the job, to be honest, just from doing the work. I've always maintained that, that actually the best way to learn is, is on the job, um, just doing the work. And, and if you do that, then you should develop the skills that you need fundamentally. A big part of this is down to the individual, so there is more scope these days for individuals to put their hand up and say, look, I want to challenge myself. I'm actually quite keen to see how a board meeting works. Can you invite me along? I'm not expecting to run the board meeting, but can you give me a five minute slot that I can talk about with you next to me to give me that experience? And I think probably in the past, that wouldn't have been considered. I think these days, I certainly try and encourage that in my team, push yourself forward in a safe environment and challenge yourself.